Pavlos, what inspired you to pursue a career around sailing? I will start with uh, how I started sailing. So my father was a sailor and uh, at the age of uh, initially six, he took me at the Limassol Nautical Club. They said I was too young, so I had to go away. And uh, I returned back when I was nine. It was May 1999. Back there, the coach at the sailing club, Yanis Papazoglu, he just showed me around, sat on the boat and told me, okay, go around the boy and come back, which uh, the boy was like 20 meters away, but it took ages because there was no wind. But I will never forget that night I went home and I still felt that my body was kind of on the boat. I was still like kind of bouncing up and down. But what was really crucial in making me want to pursue a career, uh, to answer your question, was uh, 2004 Olympic Games in Athens. I, I went with my father to, as a spectator to watch. And uh, when I saw the sailors with uh, the big flags on their sail and their surnames down, Somehow the, the flame started burning in me and uh, it was okay, this is what I want to do. Today sailing has evolved to become one of the most popular and most challenging sports in the world. What are some of the challenges you have had to face along the road to success? So 2010, uh, I was diagnosed with discus hernia. Uh, still up to date, I get some issues with my back, but I learned how to live with it without any surgery. And it's part of me, it's part of who I am. And the first doctor who examined me back in 2010, he said that uh, maybe I should stop with sailing. So you can imagine I was in a kind of period in my life that a lot of black clouds over, over my head. But uh, as every storm, every storm comes and goes and the sun is always there shining and uh, I think that uh, should be for everyone who faces a hard time, it's, uh, they should feel free to speak about it, it's always helping and uh, when you have a goal and a dream, so my dream was to, to win an Olympic medal, then uh, eventually you will get that extra power you need and strength to, to keep going. It's very hard to describe with words uh, the feelings and the emotions of, of that moment. That was really defining for me definitely and for Cyprus sailing and for Cyprus sport, Cyprus history. It's a big part of who I am today and it was the initiator of much more success to come, I would say. Winning an Olympic medal brought hope to our country at a time of economic upheaval. Let us talk about the life-changing impact your success has had on Cyprus so far. I mean, obviously, I felt uh, very proud and very inspired at the same time. Uh, such uh, hard times to see that uh, you can give uh, hope to people. And this proves that uh, as a nation, we are pretty small in numbers, you know. We don't have, we are less than a million. And investing in sport is very beneficial for our nation. And it's the best commercial we do abroad. What is the first thought that enters your mind every time you step on that podium to accept an award? It's not a thought, it's a, it's a feeling, it's a vibe, it's kind of uh, like electricity of pride, I would say, that uh, blossoms inside of you and uh, those few seconds of, of joy and satisfaction of uh, knowing that what you've worked hard for all these years, it's kind of uh, paying off, so it's a great satisfaction, sometimes even relief, I would say. But the initial first thing is when they shout your name and you just step on the podium like that. Besides being a great athlete, you have become a role model for the younger generation, giving motivational talks around the country. Tell us about that. I really enjoy and feel blessed at the same time doing it because a lot of times I receive much more than what I give. When you have a a lecture room or a theater with 400 kids and they just you feel that positive vibe that positive energy and they are cheering for you and they are just watching you with a concentration 100 percent and even if you manage to change a bit the way of thinking of one kid that's a success that's it that, that's the satisfaction you get to to manage to have impact uh, in the community especially in this uh, very challenging times we are uh, living now with uh, social media and all this stuff. 
What is the primary goal of your Towards Paris initiative and what do you hope to achieve through the campaign? So uh, my goal uh, and uh, my team is to grow the Cyprus Olympic team. And we have a lot of talent and that talent needs support. I'm uh, recently reading a book from Anthony Robbins and uh, one word stuck with me inside, a Japanese word, Kaizen. I'm not sure if I'm spelling it uh, correct. It's like K and Zen, it's spelled K-A-I-Z-E-N. And what does it mean is uh, continuous growth, always becoming better. And uh, in the book is written that there is no other language in the world that has this specific meaning in one word. Japanese do have it. And this was already kind of uh, my motto to always try to become a better version of yourself and always give your best because at the end of the day, that's the only thing you can control. And uh, the Japanese word stuck with me because it's just one word. So Kaizen, you know, just Kaizen. Right? Always try to perfect and become better.